Travis Wright. Ryan Schaefer rallying after the early open frame in the second with some outstanding conversions. Difficult pairs for Schaefer. And the emotion running high in Burlington, North Carolina. Who will emerge and make to the finals to take on Ryan Voss? We find out in a minute. Eugene McHugh, who persuaded Ryan to practice on Monday when Ryan really was tired from the trip from Florida, didn't want to compete out there too much. And loosen up. Get a workout in, but Eugene insisted. Ryan Schaefer said that helped him get loose for the whole week. Kind of was his foundation for making the show. I'll tell you what else got him focused was getting into the top eight on the points for the World Championships. Making the show this week virtually locked him into the top eight. He's in fifth place right now in the world list. Pete Weber's in seventh. March to the World Championship. They want to get to the Super 16 and bypass the qualifying. Schaefer starting a rally here. Now watch the difference between game one where Ryan Schaefer started playing with a different bowling ball. There's the big loft. That ball's going to go out to about the third arrow. Now watch two games later. A good eight, nine boards left. Back to Pete. The right of the TV pair. Perfect ball. And Dave Ryan, there's a lot to be said for experience. Pete Weber obviously has a lot. He knows how fast the lanes are changing. And you know what? We just came out of commercial, and Pete Weber, to me, looked like he moved further left to allow for the ball to hook more. He wanted to make sure we got a word out to his fan club in Hood River, Oregon today. Nan Notaboon, Tess Lorenzen, Megan Pruitt, Shauna Ramsey, Ellie Bard, Christy Tao, all watching closely. They're teachers in the Hood River school system. Pete has been enjoying their support. Yeah, that's right, and he yeah. enjoys that too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, remember I said how Pete was uh, more relaxed and kind of just chilling? Well, <laughs> give him four in a row, five in a row, and all of a sudden you're going to see the PDW show. That fan club may make a trip to Detroit. We understand it's in the works. If they're listening, Pete is rooting that on. Back to Schaefer. Only six. Can't get it down the lane. Three, six, nine, ten. Or as we call it on tour, the big ugly. This ball never pushes far enough to the right again. Got to get the ball to hook into that. Stay on the lane. The ball will throw the six into the ten if done properly. Eighth frame. Can he get Look out. another difficult spare? Yes, he can. Great angle from our crew watching the that ball. Really five flirt thing. with the channel. And here Ryan said that's probably harder to pick up than that five count split he made. The big ugly. Like that. <laughs> have you ever made the three, six, nine, ten, Dave? I can't say I have, Randy. Okay. I've had plenty of spares. I don't make many. <laughs> From the sunglasses of Pete to Ryan Schaefer, what he's watching. Gets a break. Using two different bowling balls. Higher friction ball on the left lane, lower friction ball on the right. Catches a nice break here, a little high hit. 4 7 10, the last three to fall. But right now, Pete Weber in the driver's seat, working on five in a row. Goes the other five banger. Yes. Six. Strikes, strikes, and a 51 pin lead for Pete Weber. See what Pete's learned how to do on pattern A in the Cambridge Credit Tournament in Long Island. Pete knocked me out in the round of 16. That was a week after your win in Philadelphia. That is correct. Just four pins needed for Pete Weber to the finals. There it is. He's going to take on Ryan Voss. The stage is set. Two Hall of Famers, two of the biggest stars the tour has ever known, will go head to head here in Burlington, North Carolina for a championship today. I asked Brian Voss. He said he wanted Pete Weber in the finals. When I mentioned that to Pete, Pete said, oh yeah? 
Tell Brian, bring it on. I'm not scared. That's the kind of emotion we're going to have in a few moments, folks. Do not touch that remote control. Finish him off. 